If you click this video, you probably aren't sure if you should buy the 90 millimeter 2.8 macro lens from Sony. Here's your quick answer. For both macro and portrait photography, absolutely. Now for the long answer. If you didn't already know, Sony released this lens in 2015 and hasn't released another 90 millimeter macro lens since because it's so great. It's currently going for around $1,028, which is a good chunk of money, but it's ultimately worth every penny. Also, if by the end of the video you decide you do want this lens, I left a link in the description below so you can get it right away. So, immediately because this is a macro lens, you're going to notice how close you can get to your subject. This lens has all the way down to a one-to-one -one lens magnification ratio, which means the size of your subject appears the same as on the camera sensor as in real life. This makes it super easy to get close to small subjects like this grasshopper. One-to-one -one magnification truly changed the game for me because I was shooting bugs and small stuff on a regular 50 millimeter lens. And as much as it worked, I could never get as close as I needed. And this made me have to crop and post. And it, I always lost so much image quality. Now I get as close as I need while still having a super sharp photo. Speaking of image quality, this is probably one of the sharpest macro lenses on the market. Actually, when I went to buy this lens at the camera store, the guy checking us out said, wow, the sharpness of this lens is truly incredible. This lens also has a minimum aperture of 2.8, which as always provides a beautifully soft depth of field. Now using a higher f-stop isn't necessarily a bad idea, but having the option for a lower aperture helps whatever small subject you're shooting really pop, which is really important when this, your subject is smaller than your thumb. Just make sure when you're shooting something small not to take the aperture too low because you won't get everything you want in focus. But does your subject always have to be that small? In this case, no. Because it's a 90 millimeter lens, it also can do anything you would normally do with 90 millimeters, especially portraits. It gives great background compression while also giving some distance between you and the person you're shooting. Overall, this lens feels great in my hands. No part of it feels cheap and I'm pretty sure it's mostly made of metal. Despite this, I've never found it too hard to hold or too heavy and I have small hands, so that's a plus for me. A cool feature worth mentioning is where the auto to manual focus switch is placed. Instead of having a switch somewhere on the side of it, it's in the focus ring here. So you just push up for auto focus and down for manual focus. Along with this, it also features a button on the side right there, which you can set to do whatever you want. Right now, I don't have it set to anything, so if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Another thing that might not affect me, but may be very helpful to you, is the fact that this lens is weather sealed, which if you aren't in ideal weather conditions, you don't have to worry as much. You have the peace of mind that your lens isn't gonna end up completely ruined if it starts raining. Now, as great as this lens is, nothing in this world is perfect, so here are some things you might encounter. The autofocus would probably be my main concern. As much as it's not horrible, I found myself struggling to stay in focus with smaller subjects with autofocus and relying on manual for most of my shooting. This isn't always convenient when you have something that's small and prone to moving or flying away, and you don't have a chance to use manual focus, losing the shot you're after. And if video is what you're into, the autofocus in this lens specifically probably isn't what you're after. It's very quiet, but it's not very fast. So unless you want a slower autofocus, you might want to look at a different lens. Now, don't let this deter you from this lens. It's still fantastic. It's just fantastic in a really specialized way, which in my case is exactly what I was looking for. To sum it up, this lens makes everything I was doing about 50 times easier. It's been a huge game changer for me and so many other photographers, and hopefully it will be for you too. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this lens or any of the other equipment I use, just click the link in the description below. Just clicking the link helps me make more content like this.
Anyways, thank you so much for watching and go make some awesome content.